We've covered where the profile tolerance should take place and how to control what surfaces are applied to it. But now let's talk about how to change your tolerance zone. The profile tolerance of one is a total tolerance range in this example right here. The profile would be centered on the true profile that's established by the basic dimensions. Without any modification, the default tolerance zone is shown here, with an equal tolerance value on each side of the true profile. It's a total tolerance of 1, so you'd have 0.5 on one side and 0.5 on the other. Your radius, which is a basic dimension of 15, could go from 14.5 to 15.5. However, there is a way to make this tolerance range asymmetric so that you don't have 0.5 on each side of the true profile. This brings us to our unilateral or unequal tolerance zone symbol. You can see the symbol in the feature control frame right here. And you'll probably also notice that there's another number added to the feature control frame after the U. In this feature control frame, we have the 1, which would specify your total tolerance. This is the value to the left of the U. The value to the right of the U is the portion of the total tolerance that adds material to the part. It's what makes the part heavier. Now, you'll recall that the normal profile would center us right at the true profile, plus 0.5, minus 0.5. However, now that we've added the unilateral or unequal profile symbol, you can see that our tolerance zone has shifted. Our tolerance range is now located off-center from our true profile. You'd have 0.6 on the outside of your part. Your total tolerance range would still be 1. So on the other side of the true profile, you would have 0 0.4. This allows you to shift the tolerance zone wherever you'd like it based on wherever your true profile lies. You can set your basic dimensions and then control your profile differently. You can distribute your profile in a few different ways. We've already talked about the default method, which is when you do not use the U symbol. This is known as an equally bilateral tolerance zone, and it just means that the profile is set equally about the true profile. Your tolerance zone in blue is set perfectly equal around the true profile in red. We can have an unequal tolerance zone, which we just went over, this means that on one side you have a little bit more than on the other side. Remember, the number to the left of the U is the total tolerance range, and the number to the right of the U is how much material exists on the outside of the part. So in this case we have 0.6 on the outside of the part and 0.4 inside. Now we can also have a fully unequal tolerance zone. So if we have a 1 to the left of the U, and a 1 to the right of the U, what do you think that means? Well, it means our profile exists entirely on the outside of the true profile. You're using basic dimensions to control the radius of 15. But this means that your profile exists all the way outside of your part. Your radius can go from R14 to R15. So if you have a 1 there, what do you think a 0 means? That means your profile comes all the way inside the part. You have 0 tolerance of your total 1 tolerance available outside of the part. This means that your profile goes from R15 to R16. 